I know most of us have seen one of those horrendous videos online where somebody's installing a TV or a decoration or something simple and water just starts gushing out. Now, if water is gushing out at that velocity, that means that they have hit a pressurized line, meaning it's not a drain, it's not a toilet drain, it's not a sink drain. They've actually hit a supply line. So like our hot water, our cold water, and this actually goes up quite a bit higher before we have our shot, not quite a bit, but high enough where you could hit a line before um, we have the termination of our shower. So what you want to install, so if your drill is hitting something and it's really hard to get through, you have a warning, are these metal plates. Now these are called sometimes stud guards, sometimes they're called safety plates, and there's a couple different kinds, and some come, if you look at it like that, with just the little barbs, and you can just hit them with a hammer directly into the wall, but you would put it like right here, or we'd get a different size and put it right here to block this. And so we're protecting where if I go to drill and I'm not going through, I'm not going through, I understand something's not right. They have the kind like this with the barbs. And then you also have just a kind like this that you can screw on. Now, the thing with these is most everyday builders, what they're gonna do is they're just gonna put these on and they're gonna put the drywall right over it and it's gonna have a little bit of a bow, but in most cases, it's probably gonna be okay. You probably have them in your home and you probably don't notice. However, if you're working on an application where you really want it to be smooth and perfect before you start, all you gotta do, I'm gonna show you two ways. So, if you wanna just put them in, you just put it right up against it and you just hit it in with your hammer. Same here, I could put one there and one here, just hit it right in and it's gonna hold right in. But I wanna show you how much of a gap that that gives you. You can see how big of a gap that creates and if you had it flush up here and then down there and that's how much of a tip you'd have. And you just have to decide for your project whether that would matter or whether it wouldn't. Now you can do this with a simple hand chisel, but you also can use this uh, oscillating multi-tool and it will make really quick work of the job. Now obviously we ran into a problem right here with this knot <laughs> coming out so nothing's grabbing on there. But what I wanna show you is a side view and a top view. If I bring something smooth down, look, I'm catching on that one. But this one can smoothly go over and it's not bumping out and making it stick out further if I need this to be a really smooth application. So see what I'm talking about? The one that we just hit right over the stud and then the one that is flush because we chiseled out a notch in our stud. Side view, it's nice and flush. But that one sticks out. While you do wanna be using a stud guard, uh, or a protector in every situation that you're running plumbing through a stud. It might not always necessarily matter whether you chisel it in flush or whether you, whether you put it on the front of the stud. That's up to you, but make sure you are, if you're renovating your own bathrooms, that you are using these to protect the pipes so you don't have a big emergency down the road.